What up, people? This is Bonjo. Today, we're going to look inside this Croatian travel group, Croatia 24, 2024 Travel on Facebook. Sometimes you get these guys that don't know what they're talking about because they made human errors or human mistakes or the other person that they're buying it from misunderstood them because of language barrier and they deem it as a scam. So we're going to get into maybe one of these situations now. We're actually going to talk about the Yadrolinia. It's a ferry cruise line ship here in Croatia that is well established and beyond. Let me tell you, it's beyond scamming. It's a huge company. So let's be the judge of this. Is it a scam or is it not a scam? We're going to start looking at this guy. Let's see what his name is. His name is uh, Borjan or something like that. Let me see this. Okay. So he says, when boarding the Yadrolinia from Split to Supertar, Supertar, I only gave one only give one ticket. We as tourists and attendant board tickets to see which ones we have to present and took both. So this guy, by the sounds of it, he gave the guy that, you know, the ticket guy, all his tickets to scan. So the guy doesn't look, he just scans it, scans it, scans it, sees where it's going, do, 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 and scans it and gives it back. So on the way back, this guy says, to make it worse, on the way back from Supertar to Split, one of the staff at Supertar assaulted us and contested that we pay for both ways and broke the screen of our phone. Okay, that sounds like a lie. But I've, I've traveled on this cruise ship many times, and nowhere near have I experienced something like that. Like I said, there's no reason for them to scam because they're working for a corporation and a company. So if they sold another ticket, they wouldn't get the money from it anyways because it's done in the computer system, whatever. So let's carry on. I also launched a formal complaint about this matter in the company and also reported with the police regarding the result. Um, this is pure mafia. So this guy, Bjorn, sounds like a little soft guy. And um, let's get into it. So I said, LML, because I, I just read the first caption. So I said, this guy just ordered the same ticket twice instead of a return ticket. So that's what I thought. But then he showed me this picture, which is right here. It's a return ticket. So 39 euros to go there and then 39 euros to go back, which is right. And then this one's a replacement ticket. And so he gave him both of these to scan. And all he had to do instead of making this fuss was do some research, learn how to hand over your tickets before going on to it. Like a plane ticket, everybody knows the details. When you buy a plane ticket, a train ticket, a bus ticket, you know your details. You got to know the simple details, right? So instead of resolving this and being like, hey, listen, this is the same ticket. Go back to the window where you bought it from. The guy scanned it and it wasn't used. And they could see it wasn't used. But instead, he goes online and makes this big stink about it. So let's get into it. So we got um, a few people defending this because it's not a scam. It's a human error by the sounds of it. Just curious. Why didn't you post this picture on the original post? Yeah, the original post didn't have this picture. Didn't have this picture. So he went and got a, another ticket and then posted another one. You know? Okay. I, it sounds like a lie. It sounds like this guy's fibbing us here. Because it's a lie, I answered, and someone uh, replied with a laugh emoji. And um, I booked with this company, like I said, tons of times and never had a problem. And Martina says, as I said earlier, I think it's just a mistake of them taking both from you because they weren't listening rather than it being a, some elaborate scam. But now that I see that one clearly marks split super tired, the other is marked super tired split, I'm not sure why you would hand over both tickets exactly. 40 euros learning experience and a mistake for both. Exactly. Just do your basic common research, people, before traveling. You got to know this. Like this guy, Bjorn, then he's like, what is the lie exactly? The lie is this, Bjorn. The lie is this. You're literally going on the internet and making up some elaborate scam when it's a human error. It could be a human error on their side for not for scanning a ticket quick, but it's your error because you didn't know your research. You didn't do your research. All you had to do is not who hands all their tickets over who if you're an experienced traveler, you don't hand in all your tickets. What are you talking about? Come on for anything for anything. Jeez.
And then we got Martina. I use them several times a year. She's replying to me and never had any issue. Always a pleasant, great experience. Exactly. These people are lifesavers for the islands around here. They, they do this every day, all day. There's no scams. This is how people get home from Split. They live on Hawar and to go sometimes buy groceries, buy something from Pevex to go to work. They use this every day. Every day they use this, okay? And I said, exactly. Why didn't they double check their purchase? Which happens all the time. It's not a scam. It's a human error. This post is a lie. And then he, and I said, Elma, Feo, all this is showing you buying a ticket and there being a backup replacement ticket. A replacement ticket is for the, and then Bjorn replies, a replacement ticket is for the ticket that was invalid, even though there was, yeah, because you handed it over and you let them scan it. I don't know what he doesn't get about this. Jeez, man, just take your L. You look ridiculous a little bit, buddy. Bjorn, that was a mistake by handing over all your tickets to get scanned. It was a simple task for any traveler to do a bit of research on how to use a ticket. Okay, I made a mistake, but the handler also did too. Well, now there we go, Bjorn. You admitted to the mistake. Yeah, let's give him a round of applause, Bjorn. Finally. So now he knows he made a mistake, but he still has this post in Travel Croatia 2024 Facebook group, which is public, and he has a picture of the man that he said assaulted him, which was also a lie because this guy is getting caught in his own lies. So the guy that's complaining about the goddamn scam is the goddamn scammer himself. Bjorn, you just played yourself. You got the donkey of the day, I swear, boy. What's wrong with you? Man, is this your first time traveling? Serious question. Damn, you can't just call everything a scam because you don't know what you're doing. You didn't take time in your research. You did this to yourself, my boy. Jeez. And we, okay, I'm not the only one that was, that was uh, going against this guy. Almost everybody. First time I hear something like this, traveling with Yadrilinia for 25 years. The photo, what is the photo showing exactly? Two tickets bought for the same direction? Yeah, exactly. The original post was two tickets going the same direction. So when he made the post, he still didn't know what he was talking about. So now, okay, I made a mistake, but the handler also did. So he made a mistake, right? Isn't that what he's saying? Jeez. Man, I hate sometimes people. I'm sorry you had a bad experience, but mistakes at, in the register can happen to anyone. So that should be a big deal. To, so it shouldn't be a big deal to or make a drama. Of course, the behavior is bad. But um, let's see what somebody else just responded. And then me and this guy were talking. Okay, so Siran was like this. What was Sirian doing? Okay, Sir, Sirian or whatever his name is, uh, want to share his experience about a scam. Let's see if this guy is a liar too. Buddy at the airport in Zadar tried to charge me 70 euros for a 10-minute cab ride, which only showed up to be 17. So he went from 70 to 50 to 35 to 25. He said, nope, he's just waiting for his uh, Uber or his cab for 17 euros, which is okay. Remember, people, when you're traveling from any airport, any airport, any cab that is not Uber or an app company, you, you already know. You already know they're going to upcharge you because it's for convenience. So this guy knows that, and he respects it. I actually have no issue with the guy trying to pull that. Times are tough. Got to feed the family. And lots of very wealthy people come here. So 70 euros is pennies to people. Exactly. But I replied, yeah, it's true, but it's still not good to do. Overcharging for anything isn't cool. Yeah, I just assume tourism services are run by a Ferengi from Star Trek, and then it all makes sense and works smooth. But, okay, I'll, I'll say this. This guy took it lighthearted, but he's he's also onto it. This is like a common scam throughout everywhere in the world. The cabs always scam, and yes, if you're coming to Croatia, make sure you use Uber and Bolt. You'll save tons. And if you're taking the bus in Croatia, make sure you download the app for the bus in Dalmatia. It's called Promet. So, yeah, you always got to have the apps. The apps are going to be cheaper. And then you can tip your driver accordingly because he doesn't make that much on Uber because of uh, the taxes and stuff. 
So if you want to give him a little extra extra, give it to him because he'll appreciate it and he'll always come back and pick you up. And then you'll always have a driver here. He'll give you his number and boom, and it works out good for both of you, right? So remember that. Always treat your Uber and Bolt drivers better. So this is Bonjo. I hope you enjoyed this. What do you guys think? Was this guy wrong, this Bjorn guy? I clearly think he was. But you let me know down in the comments, people, because uh, this was a mess on his part. Claiming assault? That's just freaking bananas, people.